morning guys it's about nine o'clock on a friday morning and i am trying to my goal today is to put my phone away put the computer away like i need to just kind of stay away from that type of thing because y'all I'm, I'm getting into that like obsessive thing again where i'm like oh my gosh am i pregnant am i not pregnant like it's just it's stressing me out again <clears throat> i've had kind i hadn't let it go but i had i was accepting and like i was telling you guys how i was like bleeding like really heavily or whatever and well this morning it's like gone like it's basically stopped and as of yesterday evening around 5 p.m i had this you know so i'm like what's going on like I'm just so confused, I'm frustrated, and I want to know what's going on. And I have to wait for my doctor's appointment on the 28th. Um, I'm also trying to stay, I'm also trying to keep in mind that I am 99.9% .9 sure that this is a miscarriage, and it's just taking my levels a little bit of time to drop back down. I'm not allowing myself to like really think too hard about it but I mean you can google anything and you can find any answer that you're looking for if you google it you know like didn't like I'm sitting there on google and I'm like did anyone bleed for this long and have low hcg levels and still everything be okay and then I had to stop myself I'm just like okay we need to stop we need to back away this is in the lord's hands and I have to let it go because I'm just gonna drive myself crazy and I'm wasting my time I'm wasting my day just sitting at the computer obsessing over it and trying to find answers because there are no answers there are no right answers nobody knows my situation nobody is me nobody knows how I feel um, nobody can like virtually examine me you know like it's just silly for me to be obsessive about it so I'm putting it all away I'm going to try to just clean up my house. I'm going to focus on making things neat and tidy. I'm going to hang out with my little man today. Aiden had a rough morning this morning. I was getting him ready around like six this morning. I was just getting him dressed. I was trying to get him dressed and he just absolutely refused. I mean, total meltdown, screaming, kicking, hitting his head, just was not going to have it today. Was not going to have it. So I'm really glad that his doctor sent the school that continued excuse, like that note, um, so that I can leave him home when he's having a hard day. Um, and he had a tantrum the whole time I took when I was taking Piper and keys to school. I mean, just screaming, kicking the whole nine yards. So he's not happy today. I'm not sure what his deal is, um, but I'm just going to hang out with him and he's going to help me clean up the house, or at least he will be good company while I do so. So what I do when I'm cleaning is I will pick a room, for instance I'm doing this room right now, I'll pick a room and I will stay in that room and clean it until it is exactly the way that I want it to look. And then, and only then, I will move to another room. Um, I'm usually really bad at kind of just flitting around the house and I'll do a little thing here and a little thing there and, and then I don't ever really get a lot done. Um, even though I'm doing a lot, I'm not, you're not seeing it because it's not in a concentrated area. So. I'm just gonna get that done y'all Aiden went back downstairs I brought him up for the sixth time and he just went he opens this baby gate and just goes on down so he's being good though I went down a minute ago and checked on him he's playing with toys he was sitting in his little chair like he's he's being awesome so as long as he's good down there and I feel like he's safe I'm gonna leave him down there plus I'm up and down the stairs probably every five or six minutes bringing laundry up so He's technically not like down there long by himself. Oh, you guys. I think I do that every time I turn on the camera. I'm just like, ah, you, you guys, you guys. I don't know. I, I love vlogging because it's, it's an awesome way for me to kind of like vent my thoughts and frustrations and whatever that's going on. So when your mind is super preoccupied, it's hard to do anything like at all like I'm really struggling to like clean so I've had to hide my phone from myself like I've stuffed it in my diaper bag I've zipped it up and I've zipped it in the bigger part as well because I don't want to go keep looking at my phone and trying to look things up and trying to get answers for what's going on because I truly you guys truly I know what's going on 
I know this is not a viable pregnancy. I need to just keep that in my mind and understand that that is God's will right now and I need to accept it. Um, it's easy to say that you're leaving it in God's hands. It's another thing <laughs> to actually do it and it's hard. It's hard to not try to control the situation, you know, or whatever. And I know emotions are just running high right now. Anyway, the phone is, is not coming back out until I have to go get kiddos from school because I've got to just get this done. Okay guys, so I decided, well, I didn't decide. My doctor had left a note. She said, take one. This was yesterday. She said, take one today and then take one tomorrow and then just stop testing and wait till your appointment. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, so I'm testing again. Um, I'm expecting it either to say the same thing or to say not pregnant. So I'm kind of hoping for the not pregnant, to be honest with you. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's so frustrating, guys. Man, this one is taking a long time. I hope it says not pregnant. That would be amazing. Y'all, Aiden keeps going downstairs. I have brought him up here probably three or four times and he just goes right back downstairs. He like moves the baby gate and everything. Please say not pregnant. Ugh, man. How long do these things take? I think it's been like, it was like at like three minutes when I turned the camera on. I wasn't even gonna film this, but then I was like, well, it's taken forever. I guess I have time to get the camera. Again, this was taken yesterday around like 4 p.m. And then now it's, it's not even 24 hours later. Bah! Darn, it says the same stinking thing. Y'all, I want this test to go negative so bad. It's ridiculous. Whatever. I'm not going to keep taking these things. I feel silly. This is ridiculous. Like, it's just ridiculous. I know like what is happening and all that kind of stuff. So I feel like the doctor shouldn't have even told me to go out and get, get stinking pregnancy tests because they're going to just keep being positive. I need to just wait. I have one test left. What I may do is not test tomorrow at all. And, uh, or I may test with the last one in the morning and then just wait like the two weeks until my appointment. Because obviously in two weeks, I feel like things are going to be pretty crystal clear <laughs> at that point. Like there's not going to be any debate. Um, I just, I can't let myself continue to be sad about this. Like I just can't, but I don't know. Any, at any rate, it'll be good to get into the doctor on the 28th and just kind of have a checkup and all that kind of stuff so we can just move on with life y'all and I need to get a new calendar oh my gosh this calendar over here is just ridiculous it's ridiculous I I haven't gotten a new 2016 one yet so I have all of like the boys appointments just on random scrap sheets of paper and just thrown up on the wall so disorganized it's driving me crazy anyway I'm gonna put the camera away I'm gonna like hide my phone. I'm not gonna think about this anymore. And I'm just gonna work on the house for the next hour before I have to get in the shower. <sighs> and wouldn't you know it, you guys, about 10 minutes after I take that stupid test, I get the girls run inside and they're like, Mommy, you got a package. And it's something that I ordered to give to family, like to announce that we were expecting. And now I don't think I need it. <laughs> it's just sad. Ah. <sighs> Rough week, y'all. Rough week. Anyway, I'm going to try to get my mind off of it and straighten up some things and take care of my, my little people. Like this one who's playing with the oven, even though he's not supposed to. <laughs> he's so mad at me. Pashley? <laughs> Come on, are you dancing now? 
Come on. Come on. So he was all the way downstairs. Well, he decided he wanted a drink. So I told him he has to come all the way upstairs to get it. He came up half of them and now he's like, Stalling, I left his drink over there. He's man, he's not wanting to come up the rest of the flight. <clears throat> and Rushka partially bit. He knows where I am, y'all. <laughs> he knows to go up the stairs. He's just being silly and not wanting to do it. Come on, buddy. Partially. And Rushka partially. Partially bit. Partially. Come on. This is a good life skill, buddy. Come on up the stairs on your own to get a drink. Come on. I'll sit right here and wait for you. Come on. Good boy, my little jets. Nia, nia, nia. Partially. Partially beat. Good dear mama. Gdzie mama? Sto? Sto? Come on, buddy. Come on, Mullajets, Pashley. Mullajets, Pashley. He's just not gonna do it, y'all. Oh my goodness, such a little boy. Such a little boy. Come on. Come on. See, now he's getting angry. Because he's doing a sign for drink. We're trying to add something else to it, buddy. You got to come up the stairs for it. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Hey, I'm right here. Come up the stairs. There you go. Come on, Ashley. You do it. I think I just had to touch him so he knew. Come on. Good boy. your drink now yeah. did you earn it did you come up the stairs yes you did melody it's how to show you did so good it took you a little bit it took you a little bit oh and i don't have a napkin either it's okay you can change your shirt it's okay i'll get you a clean shirt Oh, don't, uh -uh, don't make a mess, buddy. Ew. Was it that good? Was it that good? Can you take your shirt off? Here, divide we'll show. Divide we'll show. And we'll show. Hey. Take your shirt off. There you go. Good job. Good job. Oh, done. Oh, done. Good Bowie! Hey guys, happy Saturday. So, I'm in the bathroom, as you can probably tell. Um, there's no vlog again today, because again today, I spent the day in the emergency room. So, for days and days, I told myself I wasn't gonna think about it, like I wasn't really gonna try to stress about it because like, I know I'm miscarrying and you know, there's just nothing that they can do. So going back and getting my numbers rechecked would be completely pointless. But this morning I woke up, you know, and I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna take this last pregnancy test, you know, I'm just gonna see. And it was still positive, you guys, it's still positive. So the bleeding has like tapered off. I'm still bleeding, but it's nothing like it was. Um, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go do what I'm supposed to do and go back to the ER. Um, so I go back to the emergency room. I wait there four hours before they call me back. Um, they do like a blood draw. So now I have like a lovely bruise on that arm and another one to match on the other side. So. They drew the blood and then they sent me back into the waiting room and I waited and I waited and I waited and I knew like the whole time I'm literally I'm just waiting for those numbers so just to recap last time my HCG which is the human chorionic gonadotropin hormone the hormone you produce during pregnancy was at a 23 that's very very low 
So what I was expecting is it's either going to still be at a 23 or lower, or it's going to have dropped back down to like five or less, which would be good because that means that my body like, you know, got rid of it. What I didn't want <clears throat> was for it to be the same. I did not want those. What are you doing? You're in the bathroom doing it? Yeah, why? Weirdo. I'm not weird. I have a curtain as my background. <clears throat> He's laughing at me because I'm in the bathroom. If I go in here, the girls hear me through the air vent and they start yelling up to me. So, this is the only place with good okay, lighting. Man. Keep sitting on the shitter. <laughs> I'm sitting on the toilet. I'm not like going or anything. Anyway. So, my levels were at a 23, so I either wanted to see them gone, or I wanted to see them doubled or tripled. Well, but, uh, they get me back there, and, you know, the doctor comes in, and she's really, really nice, and she starts talking to me, and she's like, okay, so you've had some bleeding, you know, and I'm like, no, I have not had some. I have had a lot. Like, this is like Niagara Falls <laughs> kind of bleeding. And I was like, I don't understand why I'm still getting a positive pregnancy test. And she said, well... I looked at your levels because naturally we would want to see it back to zero or that it is dropping. She says, but your levels went from 23 to 57 in three days. So she said that it did double. She said it doubled and it almost tripled, um, but not quite. She said, now I'm not going to lie to you. That is not normal for it to be so slow rising. Um, she said it, it would indicate, you know, a problem. You know, you're bleeding, your HCG levels are low, and they're slow rising. She said, but I cannot tell you to lose hope. She said, I have seen this happen before. Like, women are bleeding and whatever, and they come in and end up having a healthy baby at the end of all of it. So that, like, gives me like, a bit of hope but she said honestly it's just a wait and see kind of thing so from 23 to 57 she said by the time I have my doctor's appointment on the 28th they should be well above 500 like my level she said they should be like over a thousand actually um, and they should see something on an ultrasound so she confirmed I'm still pregnant definitely still pregnant um, but it's just kind of a we don't know kind of a thing uh, she said to be cautiously optimistic so I don't know. <coughs> it's frustrating because like I want to be super hopeful, like I want to be like, oh yeah, everything's, you know, po you know, it's possible everything's okay now. Um, but re I'm trying really hard in my head to be realistic too and prepare myself for the worst because I think it would be more heartbreaking if I go into that ultrasound on the 28th thinking like, oh, things are going to be great and then things aren't great, um, which is probably going to be the case. Um, but I'm just trying to mentally prepare myself. I'm not trying to be negative, you know, of course I hope everything works out, but um, I'm also a realist and I don't believe in putting out a ton of false, you know, I don't want to say false hope because I, I truly believe that hope is hope, you know, there is no such thing as false hope, but um, I don't want to get my hopes up too high that this is going to work out. So anyway, that is... That is kind of the update. Um, I'm not like, I'm not sad, I'm not happy, I'm just, I'm kind of like numb to it all right now. I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. It's the most bizarre thing. And she theorized what could have happened. She said, I could have, I could have ovulated twice this month. She said, I could have ovulated on one side, the egg was fertilized and implanted, but the first egg that implanted was not viable. So my body started to miscarry that one egg. But as my body's preparing to miscarry the first, you know, Im implantation, I ovulated again and that egg was also fertilized. And she said the healthy egg could have implanted in the midst of miscarrying the first. She said you can, Im twins can implant in the uterus up to eight days apart. So that's why my levels could be low now is because the other one was lost and then now I have another one that's viable. I don't know how likely that is. And of course she doesn't know either. She's just theorizing. She's just trying to, you know, ballpark it. She said she didn't think it was an ectopic pregnancy um, because I'm not having like severe pain. She says if it was ectopic, you would know it. She says you would be in severe pain right now. Um, and she said it could be a blighted ovum. Like it could be still be any number of things that does not end in a baby. 
um, and I have to just accept that. It's just, it's out of my control, you guys. It's just out of my control. Um, and a lot of you guys on Facebook have been asking, well, why didn't they give you an ultrasound? Um, and it's just because my HCG levels are still so low, you can't see anything on an ultrasound under 500 of the human chorionic gonadotropin if your levels are below 500. Um, I don't know how true that is. I just think they just don't think it's worth it to do it when it's that low. So levels are going up. I'm still pregnant. But the levels aren't doubling like the doctor said they ideally should and the bleeding is very concerning <laughs> so we don't know what's going on we have no idea all we know is that i'm pregnant and it's a wait and see kind of a thing so prayers would be super appreciated um i don't know what else to say about it you guys i'm gonna go eat my dinner i'm gonna let you guys go i'm sorry there's no vlog again today but i did want to come in and just explain to you guys the update what's going on so 23 to 57 and two and a half, three days. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So I will talk to you guys 